What's up, Gabby J fam? Okay. That's it. Yeah, That's you lit. Like that? I love that. It's good. I came up with it myself. Okay, so we're finally doing the Q and A. I don't know how well this is gonna go, but we're just gonna go for it, you know. Just dive in. Okay. Is Justin Roberts the goat? One hundred percent. Four years old, and you have six figures to your name. You are the goat. Uh. When did you learn to dance, Jordan? Wow. When did I learn to dance? <laughs> I've been shaking my tail since <laughs> Probably Since you were a young chicken? Since I was only four. Since you were only <laughs> When you got six figures? Yeah, when I had six figures is when I learned to dance. I hate you so much. I just need you to know that. <laughs> I've been dancing since I was three. That's real tall. I would joke, but I feel like there needs to be some serious answers in here. I was actually dancing at four. Cotton Eye Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I was killing it. <laughs> Do you like sports? Yes. <laughs> I like hockey, football, basketball, um, not so much baseball, golf, Tiger Woods is the goat. 
I don't know. I thought you were naming it. Like, <laughs> yeah, you just kept counting Tiger Woods as two sports. That's like seven sports yeah, right there. It's go. great. That's it. You heard about fighting and Juju and jo the Jake Paul, Logan Paul, um, KSI situation. 100%. Logan Those... Paul, Logan Paul one. Oh, wait. We watched it together. I forgot. Yeah, we watched, literally watched it together. Oh, this is really serious. I like that one. Where do you see yourself um, in five years? Where do I see myself in five years? That is yeah. a deep question. I know. I don't even know where I see myself in five minutes. Where do I see myself in five years? This vlog's coming out in five years, right? We can just cut to it. Cut it. Five years, I see this vlog coming out, and I see me watching it with Jordan. I see me strolling on the beach. Uh, oh, the beach? Uh, Maybe a little West Coast? You know. <laughs> what do you mean to say? Like, maybe a little west coast. You know, I see me owning my own island. I'm just kidding. I'm gonna be like, how old? 28. Ooh, that's nasty. Um, let's find another one. Um, Jordan, were you ever shy when you started dancing? And if so, how did you overcome it? Does it matter what I No. No, it doesn't matter. Let <laughs> no, it, okay, no, like, okay. unleash the inner beast, like, right here now. Alcohol. <laughs> Alcohol is the only answer. Literally. <laughs> You're nervous to dance? Just drink a little bit. <laughs> um, for me, I don't know. How did I, if I'm shy? I actually was really shy when I first started dancing. Like, I used to, like, sprint off the stage. Like, when, as soon as my dances were done, I would be like, Pew! Like, I was, like, not into, the, I was, like, terrified of the audience and everyone there. But, like, I don't know, the older I got, I just kind of got more comfortable with it. You just kind of get over it. Sometimes I even kind of get nervous now, but like I'll just remember that I love dancing and I do it for fun, so it doesn't really like bother me. If people judge me, that's kind of their problem. <laughs> I feel like in circles and stuff too, like you like look at everyone you know. Yeah, that I know, or like that make me comfortable instead of like people I don't know, or like people I feel uncomfortable. Yeah. around her. I don't know what I'm saying, but you know, it's fine. I feel like you kind of got where I was going with it. Um, no, seriously. I love a girl, but I don't know how to tell her. What do I do? Tell her. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot your shot, bro. Like, I mean, just... Literally. You've been doing it since you were a kid. Just slide in the DMs. <laughs> Give it your best go. I know, like, you know, telling people how you feel can be scary. Um, I was gonna say something really corny, that's why I stopped myself. Say I was it. like, girl, don't. <laughs> say it. But like, I feel like telling people how you feel can be scary, but like, sometimes you just gotta do it. Otherwise, like, you know how, you know how Shrek says, better out than in. Oh in. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, for real. Like, it's, it's better out than in. Like, holding shit in feels horrible, so like, just tell people how you feel. Miss 100% of the shots you don't take. I hope you. I feel like that's Michael Scott. Is that, I feel like the, <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, like the How do you keep your skin so flawless, cover girl? I do a charcoal mask once a week. I get a facial once a month. Um, so this sounds like Erica Costello. I drink a lot sorry. of water. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I mean you just gotta you just gotta mask up. Yeah, you just gotta you just gotta mm. do your thing, you know. For me, I take skincare very seriously, first of all. Like, Elena gets so annoyed when we go to festivals together because I, like, take over the bathroom and just, like, line up seven rows of, like, skincare take, products. Like, so I'm like, B this, <laughs> yeah. this is for real, first of all. No, but I used to have really bad acne, like, in, like, middle and high school, so I was like... Can't relate. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. Yeah, I mean, I use like a mask. It's not like an intense mask or anything, but I use like a mask and like once every night and like acne stuff. And do you, what do you use? A face mask? I use the Glam Glow one. That one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the hydrating one. Yeah. And then what else do I use? Oh, I use grapeseed oil. That's, that is the, that is the go right there. Yeah. 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 Okay. Can I can I be your boyfriend? That was the next question. Um You can be my boyfriend if you pay for everything for me. <laughs> and there's no contact. We can emotionally connect. <laughs> but there'll be no physical connection. And I'll be honestly you. sobbing right now. I cannot handle this. Can you be my boyfriend? That that kinda depends on it depends on if you're bossy and only on if you're bossy. And that's the only person I'm, I'm allowed to I'm allowed to have a pass on, so that's it. Okay, bye. <laughs> um, next question. I ate myself yesterday. I taste weird. That is the question. It's not really a question, just kind of. If comment. it's more just like if they're just like asking for like advice on how yeah, it tastes better, or like yeah, maybe like if we eat ourselves, or if they like need opinions. No, what are your Go thoughts? Go vegan. <laughs> you won't taste 
weird, I guess, you're vegan. Not go eating gluten meat. Yeah, go, go gluten, gluten free. Yeah, go gluten free. That will solve everything. Poop yeah. balls. <laughs> gluten free, soy free, vegan poop balls. Don't, don't eat any sugar. Um, don't eat anything yellow. Just. Um, don't eat anything, no meat. Don't sweat. No, <laughs> no coffee, um, no fun. So, yeah, yeah just none of that. Any toxins. And then, really and then you'll taste better. So that's not Let me that. Let <laughs> Everything in moderation. <laughs> Least favorite fashion trends. Wow. I feel like he's gonna roast people. <laughs> I was really thinking about it. Like, that's the craziest part. Go for it, go. Those, like, really big, like, Bulky Balenciaga shoes, like the runners. Oh, like those yeah, those are a lot. It's bulky shoe trends, just saying it, Chief. Yeah, it's not for me. Like, I wear some bulky shoes, but not that much. Like, I'll wear, like, Fila's, but not, like, yeah, that's a lot. The Balenciagas are, like, really chunky. Oh, no, dudes in yeah. crop tops. Uh-uh, stop that <laughs> That <laughs> I'm talking about, like, the guys that literally walked around in, like, full crop tops with, like, their bellies out, like, I don't know why that bothers me so much, it just does, like, and maybe it's just not even, I don't know if it's like the crop top, or maybe it's just like the guys wearing it, like, maybe I it's just like- I think it's the guys wearing it. At school, like, looking. every dude would wear crop Really? Tops. Yeah. I don't know, it's not for me, I'm not into that. Have you met any really annoying vibe-killing celebrities? I don't know if, um, she's a big enough celebrity, but, um, there's a dancer I met. She's been dancing for a while, she's sponsored by Bang Energy. You think I'm talking about you? I'm gonna slap you in the face. Okay, let's read that again. Have you met any really annoying vibe killing celebrity? No. No? No. I don't really either. think I have either. I've met like some weird DJs that are kind of creepy, but I met one that was just like over the top, unnecessarily creepy. Um, I feel like everyone's just mad weird though. Yeah. I'm not gonna say his name. It's not like annoying, but I don't wanna like, like cancel him. But yeah. yeah, he was the worst. He was very creepy and like disgusting. Um, but yeah, other than that, no. I actually met like, um, Tristan Tails, is that how you say his name? From Team 10? Yeah, I think so. And then, yeah, he was actually really nice. I thought he was gonna be like, I didn't think he was gonna be like mean or anything. I just thought he was gonna be like really over the top. He was really nice. He was just a mm. sweetheart. I like went to his house. He was really cool. So yeah, but I don't think I met like any vibe killing celebrities to say. Yeah. Really. I did see like Bella Thorne and her sisters and stuff out like. Wow, that's lucky. At um, EDC Las Vegas. And I was actually surprised because they were kind of like, they seemed kind of snobby, but like, I thought they were gonna be like really like fun, but they yeah. were like just all sitting there kind of like judging everyone, which I thought was weird. But I don't know. I'm not gonna like judge them because I don't know what they were talking about. They could have just been like chilling. So you never know. I'm not gonna like judge people's faces because pe everyone has a resting bitch face. Let's be real. Yeah, literally 24/7. I got a serious one. So. <laughs> what is the nastiest joke you know? I think I have like nasty. I don't even jokes. know jokes. Yeah. Nastiest jokes. 17 dirty jokes. Bitch. Is that on BuzzFeed? Yeah, it is. I'm dead. Wow. What's the difference between being hungry and being horny? Where you put the cucumber? Uh, oh, that's so nasty. Cool. Okay, we're moving on. That's so nasty. Oh, oh, oh. You know why you never see elephants hiding up in trees? Because they are really good at it. <laughs> what? <laughs> how did you guys meet? Um, how did we meet, Jordy Perp? Um, one night I was at Echo Sage, Jersey Shore, Jersey Shore, um, GTL for life, but anyway. <laughs> I actually hate that. That was disgusting. Who was playing, Kazo? No, it was, a uh, Loud Pack. Loud Pack? At Loud Echo Pack Sage? was opening for... We're gonna go with that. No, Loud Pack was opening for someone lunch. It's that fine. Club? I don't even know, it was a weird... That is not, that's weird. not, weird. that did not happen. Was, yeah. We were at Echo Sage though, and that was like, with my friend Lauren, who he knows, but like, Lauren and I had just gotten there, and like, she really wanted to like, see the artists that were playing, and so like, we had just gotten there and everything, and like, someone literally stomped on my foot, like the show was slam packed, so like, I was just like, yeah, this isn't gonna go well, like as soon as we walked in, I was like, yeah, this ain't it, this, this ain't this it. This ain't it, Chief. The chief texted me, and he was like, yeah, girl, this ain't it, Chief. Ain't it. <laughs> nope, nope. Um, my foot got stomped on, like my hurt one, that has CRPS in it, it got stomped on like immediately, and I was like, yeah, lit. And so like I couldn't walk and I was like crying and it was just like a mess and I was like I really wanted to go home Just cuz like I was in a lot of pain and like there's nowhere to sit in Echo Sage So I was just like literally standing like a baby deer with like my foot off the ground It was like really bad people are just like drunk like slamming into me and I was just like yeah This is again chief texted me again, and he was like Girl, <laughs> I keep telling you 
Ain't, ain't it. Ain't yeah. it. Like, you need to go home. And so I was like, damn. And I didn't want to make Lauren leave because, again, like, she was really hyped over the artist. So, like, I was just going to Uber home. And, like, we live, like, 45 minutes to an hour away. And so, like, I was like, yeah, this is going to be an expensive one. But let's do it. And so, like, again, I just met him. And he was like, yo, whips out, like, an $100 bill. Like, this kid's ball <laughs> big balling over here. And he's like, take this money and just go home. Like, get a new, like, get a cab, get an Uber. And I'm like, what the like who are you like okay and like we've just been like good friends ever since like he was just like a really sweet kid and like but yeah that's how that's how you met see that there you oh go. my god yeah. my hands were like twitching did yeah, you see that they were like <laughs> yeah, <they're really> like... <laughs> i was like not okay okay what happened? who are your favorite non-edm artists bozzy i'm obsessed with johnny cash he's like all over my room i have like my dog you can't see him <laughs> there you go there you go his name is cash more Johnny Cash. I'm literally obsessed. Blink-182, they're back there behind Jordan's head. Drake's kind of the go too, so you know there's that. Uh, Justin Roberts, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> yeah, Jake um, Paul, my teacher. Yeah, Jake Paul bangs really hard, so yeah. Team 10. Oh. He loves Team 10, he's a big Team 10 kid. Loves Team 10, all of us. <laughs> John Mayer. Mayer. John Mayer! Huge John Mayer. <laughs> John Mayer's a legend. <laughs> What do you do other than dance? I eat french fries, honestly. I don't really full time dance. Yeah, you don't even like really so dance. I do a lot of, so that's I do kinda, a lot of other yeah, you, you don't dance. You work at a bar and you do stuff. Riverdale is gas. 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 Um, I watch a lot of superhero shows. I'm gonna start cosplaying because I'm a nerd. Really? Yeah, it's gonna happen. Are you actually? Yes, you're literally gonna hate What's me. What's the first thing you're cosplaying? I don't wanna talk about it. Well, for Halloween, I got like a um, Jesse Quick outfit, like Lady Flash. But like, it's not that good because I had to get it last minute. So I don't really wanna count that as like my first cosplay. But I don't know, I wanna do like Batgirl or Black Canary. So yeah, that was really that, you guys. Mm -hmm. I hope we entertain you. I don't really know. Jordan's been my friend for too long now. Just, Way too long. It's really long. Not that interesting. Vlog, vlog, vlog. Gabby's vlog. Ding.